Yo, 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 you ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? I'm about to spit some real knowledge to you. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Pep Talks with Peach. If you haven't seen any of the other videos in the Motivation for Hustler series, I will leave a link in the description box below. Feel free to browse through all of them if you need some motivation. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are a regular subby and always watch my videos, thank you for coming back. I got some good stuff for you today. Did you know, did you know, did you know that your life is 10% of what happens to you, but 90% of how you react to it? Let's, let's, let's break this down and re really think about it. Let's really take time to think about it. Remember that time when you were little and you really wanted that ice cream cone, but your mom was like, no, you can't have that ice cream cone, and you were devastated. Trust me, I felt this way last week. But nonetheless, you thought the end of the world was gonna come because you could not have this ice cream cone, right? Granted, mommy said you couldn't have the ice cream cone, but the way you reacted to it, crying, throwing a temper tantrum, stomping your feet, throwing yourself to the ground, we've all been there, was the way that you reacted to it. So let's rewind this situation. Let's say instead, if when mommy said that you couldn't have that ice cream cone, you were like, it's cool mom, you know what, you're right. I'm just gonna wait until after dinner and then I'm gonna have my ice cream then. Let me go play with this new SpongeBob toy that I got the other day, I'm good. Your life wouldn't seem as bad now, would it? Let's try to find another example. We've all been there when we've had a crush on somebody, right? You get all nervous, you get butterflies in your tummy and you're like, I don't want this person to find out that I like them because if they find out I like them, it's just not gonna go good, I'm gonna be embarrassed, right? So. Let's have the situation be, say this person that you had a crush on finds out that you like them, right? Your initial reaction is gonna be like, oh my God, I can't believe they know, I can't believe they found out, I'm so embarrassed, I'm so embarrassed. You're gonna feel all types of embarrassed, scared, nervous, but for what? It's really not that big of a deal. So if you change how you react to that situation, if you change your reaction to the fact that that person knows, situation is going to go a little bit different so let's rewind the situation now let's say that this person found out that you like them but you're like god darn it's about time they found out let me just go over there and ask them out on a date real quick i'm pretty sure they want to go to david busters just as much as i want to go now your emotions are way different. You're not feeling as bad and as scared and as nervous about the situation. So you see how just you changing how you feel about a certain situation can change your whole outlook on a particular cer certain situation. This is why 10% of your life is what happens to you, but 90% of how you react to it. We are human beings and we are super emotional. Everything we do is mostly based on emotions, especially for women. I mean, I know for me, a lot of the times I have to think like, skirt, wait, am I using my emotions to make this decision or am I actually using my brain and thinking clearly? This is why most of the time people say, think before you speak. Because if you just blurt out what you really wanna blurt out, you're acting off of emotions and you're gonna say something that's probably not too nice. But if you stop, think about it, and then say what you wanna say, most of the time, you're gonna come out saying something that's nicer and you won't be regretting it down the line. So take time to realize that 10% of your life is what happens to you and 90% is how you react to it. So how about for tomorrow? Just try it, just for one day, just try it tomorrow. Anything that happens to you, take time to think about how you would react to it naturally and then try to find another way to react to it more positively, especially if it's something negative. I do this all the time and I find that my days are not as bad as I really thought they were. If something bad happens, I try to really just let it roll off my shoulder. There's no sense in me wasting time being upset over something that I can't change anyway. We don't get second chances in life when it comes to the present and the future. What's done is done, it's in the past, so no sense in even worrying about it. So try it for one day. See how you can change your reactions and see how much better your day goes by just doing this one small simple task. You can do it, I have faith in you. If you, if I can do it, I know you can do it. So that's all I have for you today. 
If you like this video, please feel free to share it with anybody who needs any kind of motivation in their life. I would be glad to be their motivation for the day. And if you want to stay up to date on all the motivational videos that I post every week, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notification to be updated when I release a video. So until next time, I'll catch my hustlers later. See ya!